Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Now if you've watched my channel for a while you'll know that no matter how old I get I'm still amazed by the whole caterpillar to butterfly or caterpillar to moth process and in the spring and summer I get out and about and I end up just coming across different caterpillars. We've had hawk moths before and this time round I have found what I think, if I have identified it correctly, are brown tailed moths. Okay, now I'm not going to put a picture up of them here, if you want to you can look them up but the reason I'm not is because it would be awesome if it was a surprise if you've never seen one before, if when they hatch out it's a surprise for you but if you do want to look it up go for it. But these little things, we were basically walking around in nature as you do and we found these like silk tents on all these trees right and they had caterpillars coming out them we're like what on earth is this and it was on so many trees and per little tent there's like hundreds of caterpillars in each and there were some that were on the trees they had started coming out and now there's some of the few that I collected I didn't get any that was still in the tent uh, but basically these tents are what the caterpillars apparently will make in the winter and they will remain in there over winter and when it comes to about April time they'll start to come out and feast and it was probably literally a few days from seeing those tents to going back to collect a few more leaves and finding the tree had pretty much disappeared these are very destructive now another big thing about them and why I will be wearing a glove is they're actually kind of public health hazard um I'll tell you why now I did not know this when I was collecting them and although I did just collect them off of the leaves they were on when I got home to put them in the cage I have them in well not cage what is it like a netted thing I just picked them up with my hands didn't think anything of them had a good look at them went to identify them and when I went to identify them I found out they are a public health risk and there's actually a lot of signs up where these are cursing do not touch caterpillars because all these hairs on them they can just release and it gets in your skin and it's extremely intensely irritating to the point that people have been gone to hospital you know they've gone to hospital because of these caterpillars so fortunately I haven't had a reaction to them but that is why I'm wearing a glove because I'm not taking a risk I think I probably have five or six caterpillars I can't say for sure but um, they are kind of risky they can also affect you if you have really bad asthma because if the hairs come off they're currently in their netted cage like you saw and they are by a window so they're getting a natural breeze and I spray down the tank but where they were actually found and the reason I'm fine with them getting a breeze is they were by the beach they were up a cliff by a beach and so they were definitely getting a breeze and some probably water from the sea so that's why I'm trying to mimic those sort of that sort of environment now in terms of length apparently they get up to three centimeters and mine are nearly there so I'm hoping this means they'll pupate soon because every time I get them new food it dries out so quickly but if you are wondering what they eat they eat hawthorn, blackthorn, can you guys hear a seagull? <laughs> uh, they also have plum, cherry, rose and blackberry trees. They will attack them all. So it's fair to say once these pupate and hatch out, I will not be releasing the moths in my neighbourhood because we have some lovely plum trees and I don't want them ruining it. And once they do hatch out and they are the moth, their wingspan is four centimetres across, so this should be interesting. And they are mainly found in southern England and whales but if you do see these guys don't go up and just handle them because they are actually risky don't do what I did <laughs> hopefully this will just inform you guys if I have identified them correctly that is but to me they do look like brown tailed moth caterpillars and they're very very quick also a fun thing I have noticed is they have started actually molting 
So when you have a caterpillar, I believe they go through four stages of molt. So um, this just allows them to grow. And so you'll see this little crinkly thing. You think it's a dead caterpillar. It's just a, just a exoskeleton. It's a molt. So this is this is a good sign for me. I'm hoping they pupate soon. I did find one making a little silk tent on the top of the tank. I keep calling it a tank, I'm sorry. And I did a time lapse for 45 minutes and this is what I got. So <laughs> that was kind of disappointing. But if the when they do pupate and all of that, I will film it all and you can all watch it and we can sort of share this experience together so make sure you stay tuned for that i will try to document the whole process and uh, keep you guys updated so if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss out but we shall see how these guys go so thanks for watching guys and goodbye